Okay, what you're gonna need here is um a G size hook. I'm gonna use this one. Scissors. Blunt needles. These are blunt needles. Oh, here's some big ones here. And of course, yarn. Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Or you can use any four ply medium worsted yarn. Okay, so um, let me find my edge here. Oh. Sorry, guys. Just find my edge, and here it is. Okay, what you want to do is you want to begin with a slip knot. How I perform my slip knot is I wrap it around my index finger twice, pull the, the back loop forward, and then pull the front loop all the way through, and you have a slip knot. Insert your hook, um, and we're making them a cozy, so we're gonna we're gonna chain 12. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is your basics ten chain. Oh, we're gonna do twelve. I'm sorry. Twelve. Let me just adjust my camera real quick. So I'm outside, so you can probably hear the noise and the traffic in the background. So I'm sorry about that. Um. Okay. So now we have twelve chain. What you're going to do next is we're going to double crochet in the in the third row, I mean the third chain from the hook. I do have other tutorials on how to single crochet, double crochet, a slip knot, and how to hold your um, um, yarn and needle for beginners so I'm just continuing to double crochet in each stitch until the end of row this is a very simple um, pattern and um, a great way to have to make them for gifts birthday gifts graduation gifts Christmas gifts Valentine's Day gifts let me just pull some more yarn here. Okay. I, now I'm at the end of the row. I have double. Um, I have two, four, six, eight, ten rows of um, double crochet, and um, I'm going to chain one. I mean, chain two for the next row. Flip my pattern and now I'm going to double crochet again in the next chain I mean in the next stitch but working in the back stitch see oops let me try that again again I'm working in the back stitch double crochet working in the back stitch and if you're not familiar with double crochet all you have to do is yarn over insert your hook in the back stitch yarn, um, pull through yarn now you have three loops pull through two loops and pull through two loops and that's your double crochet again yarn over insert your hook in the back stitch 
pull through loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops again. Now I'm at the end, but I still have one um, double crochet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double crochet in the last um, double crochet here, which is actually two chains. So those two chains that we do in the beginning of the row is counted as a double crochet. And that's how you get the ridges. So again, we're going to do another third row. And you're going to repeat this until okay this is um a complete um mug cozy or a cup cozy um because it will fit a standard size mug as you can see you can get it in there okay see and it's perfect for those winter winter days keep it helps um keep your coffee a lot warmer and have and not have your fingers burning okay um it also would work on a here's a um, a cup here and this is why I like this um, pattern because it works with a cup and a mug. See? So if you bring in a friend a cup of coffee or tea, this is a perfect way to deliver it. Okay. So again, what you want to do is to to do another row is you just double. Um, I mean chain two, turn your pattern and double crochet in the next stitch. And again you're working in the back stitch. And when you get to the last double crochet here, you just um, insert your need your hook right in between the poles. Okay, and as you can you can begin to see the ridges or the pattern that it creates. For something simple, it really creates um, a simple but quick, easy pattern. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this loop here. What you want to do again um, oh single chain or chain one turn your um, pattern and you want to do a single chain five times one I mean I'm sorry single crochet two single crochet three four okay so when you get to the fourth you're actually in the middle and you're going to chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then insert your hook in the next um, stitch and you're going to slip stitch okay and that's how you get your hook I mean your loop and you're just gonna continue to um, single crochet Um, in each stitch you can work in the back or 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 you don't have to you can actually just insert your hook in the in the next stitch okay so now you can complete it like that right or if you want to double see this is actually another row of single crochet so to do that I'm going to chain one turn my pattern and insert my hook in the next um, stitch and single crochet and you're just going to single crochet 
in the next stitch and continue on in the loop. So I'm just um, performing a single crochet in each um, stitch on the loop. And that will give me a um, a thicker loop. Just gonna pull my yarn here, do some more yarn. And I love making these. You can find lots of these on my Etsy shop, and I've sold literally hundreds of them. They're super easy to make, super fast, and you can make all kinds of colors. You can even add borders.